just this season. I yeah. mean, with everything that you've accomplished with the sacks, and is this just finally feeling healthy and everything coming together? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, everything coming together, but not just me, man. It's just the guys, all the left guys on defense, man. Uh, we had some good moments, and so um, they were capitalized in there. And I was a beneficiary of it, but um, the credit for them, it, it, it goes, it, it's definitely, definitely something that I, I appreciate. Have you faced Have you faced Blaine Gabbert before? Say that again. Have you faced Blaine Gabbert before? I'm not old, man. I, I, know, I know I'm a little old, but I don't know if I've <laughs> played against him yet. You know, I played against some everybody, but I don't think I played against him yet. Okay. I, I know he was in Jacksonville for some time, right? Yeah, and some different teams too. Yeah, I don't think I played against him though. Okay. But I know he's very capable, and uh, don't have a I have a challenge on my hands for sure. Is it still a thrill to get picked for the Pro Bowl? Say that again. Is it still a thrill for you to get picked yeah, for the man, Pro Bowl? It's always, always an honor, man, because uh, you you know it's all 32 teams. Um, I guess the coaches and the players um, they, they have an interest in it, so it's always it's always good to know that um, your 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 what you call them you can't call them uh, work work buddies, but. Uh, <laughs> People that you work with uh, definitely see what you're capable of on the board. Yeah. AP first team all pro comes out next week. Defensive yeah. player of the year in three, four weeks. You think you built a solid enough resume for this year for both? Yeah, man. I, I, that's that's up and out for me. I, I'm feeling more about uh, winning the game on Sunday uh, than that. And so, uh, yeah, that's what it is what it is. But yeah, not in my thought process at all. We got a word from Gip yesterday that Joey's likely not going to play again yeah. this season. Just your, your level of disappointment, you know, uh, knowing yeah, what man, he's been through um, this year, in the last two years, really. I mean, yeah, it's a level of disappointment, but um, you also just understand uh, the type of person he is and knowing what the future holds for him um, is definitely bright. And so, uh, yeah, just understanding just the situation we're in and understanding how he's feeling. You want to be selfish, but at the same time, yeah, it's better for him and his future. What about your future? Have you, uh, have you thought about that at all, or is that more of a after the season? Type? Yeah, absolutely. I've never been that guy uh, to, to think about that uh, during the season, but um, yeah, definitely something we're gonna think about after the season. On a broad level, though, like the season that you've had this year, playing at elite level, one game, rushing the passer, counting stats, all of it. Like, yeah. does it? Does the production give you fire to, to keep going? Does it show you that, hey, like, I, I still have a lot left in the tank and I want to keep playing? Oh, yeah. Absolutely, man. Um, not only that, but just how I feel when I'm playing. Um, definitely feels easier. Um, the wisdom and the knowledge that I have and the understanding I have of the game um, definitely, yeah, definitely takes off a lot of the physical, uh, what you call it, getting beat up physically. And so, um, yeah, something I'm looking forward to. Dayon played last week a little bit at linebacker, but also with what Tooley's done this year, what's it been like seeing those young guys come in and be able to show stuff? Man, it's always good, man. Um, you, you can see young guys come in and, and, and help the team, uh, especially the way that Tooley has all year, man. Uh, uh, when you think about Ricky, Ricky that I played with, um, I know Roquan was one, and uh, Tooley, Tooley, Tully is definitely in that in that category in that category of, of affecting the game in a major way. And so uh, just to see his growth over the year, yeah, yeah, yeah. see his knowledge and the, what he's gained from being in the room with uh, Giff and Joey and myself. Um, sky's the limit for that guy. That guy. Just uh, getting back to safety on, on Sunday. Just how did it feel back there to sort of get back? Oh, uh, felt good. Uh, felt good to play fast. Um, simple and um, it felt good. How was that? You say fast and simple. Is that is that game plan wise, or is that more your your specific individual approach? Well, kind of just um, overall, just how I approach the game, making it simple in my mind, not trying to think about too much and just playing fast. Joe, you played a lot of games that you said were really significant. Then you got this one. How how do you sort of assess this game? I mean, it's just kind of a uh, end, of, end of a rough season for you guys, obviously. Uh, for them, they're in the playoffs, but uh, for us, it's just coming out, making sure we finish, making sure we finish strong. And um, I know the guys out here, 
every time we take that field, you know, we, we always feel like we plan for something. And um, I, I know we're going to come out and we're going to finish this thing the right way. How do you fight against that kind of negativity? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You because you, you got you to see the good in what you do. You got to see that it's a privilege to be on the stage that we own, one of 32 teams, to be an NFL player on the, on a team. And um, you just got to see that a lot of work and a lot of people will be down and playing what you're doing. Just as players, what would it mean for you guys to, to get a win for Giff? You know, obviously he's in a head coaching position now. Never know if he's going to get an opportunity like this again. Is that something you guys talk about? And what would it mean for you guys to get in the dub? Uh, definitely it'll mean a lot. Because, um, uh, like I say, every guy, everybody loved that guy. And um, he's, he's always there. And, um, like I say, guys want to play hard. And guys know what's at stake. No one's coming up to show, show, showing up to lose the game. And everybody coming to play hard and win. So it'll be a big, big for us to come out and get that done for him. Do you recall some experiences you might have had where you played a game where it didn't have meaning in the standings and how you were able to handle, handle that? Oh, what'd you say? I'm sorry, I missed the first one. Playing a game that doesn't have uh, uh, standings, Im implications, how do you go about, how is that game different? Uh, well, this is my first time in my NFL career, but um, I had, I had uh, a chance like that in high school. It's been a long time, but um, you just got to keep playing, man. Like I always say, you always want to turn that film on, no matter what the record is. The record don't tell you if you turn the film on what it is. So you want that film to look one way, no matter what, who you're playing or what you're playing for. There was uh, over 100 tackles in the season. Does that mean anything to you? Nah, we, we ain't in the playoffs, <laughs> for sure. Nah. You're not going to get the Chiefs probably at their best. Is that something you're thinking about? No Mahomes, possibly? Uh, I definitely wanted to play them. I definitely want to, every time you want to play, I want to compete against the best. But like I said, whoever they show up out there, man, we got a job to do, and um, I can't can't wait to get out there. How, how disappointing would it be if your friend Travis wasn't out there? Uh, I like playing against Travis. It's, it's a lot of fun. So um, it's it's a lot of fun. We play a um, great player, and um, like I say, they, um, it's gonna be their decision. Is that, is that one of those things like you know each other, you, you have that kind of rapport? Yeah, we know each other, man, and we're not hiding, hiding hiding from each other. We know each other. He know who I am. I know who he is. And um, like I said, it's always fun when we get to compete against each other, especially when it's me and him. As you've been preparing to watch Kansas City, they don't seem to be the same team we've seen in past years, with only 10 and 6 or so. Do you, what do you see different in them this year? They haven't been dominant like they've been in previous seasons. Um, I, I think football is just about rhythm, and um, I, I feel like um, it's about just making sure you're going out there, make, running your plays that you feel like successful for you, and I feel like it's just about rhythm. And um, like I said, that's all it is. I know you said you really doesn't mean anything when you're making 100 tackles in a season, but you've done it four out of through five years. Um, what does it take for you to be at that level every year? Uh, it takes a lot of hard work. Get my body to go make those tackles. I mean, you got to get guys on the ground. It's a grown man's league. and. Um, so you got to go make it.